Okay, this is a quick demonstration of voice lookup. Um, it detects voice prints uh, that have been scanned in. And um, yeah, so let's run the first demo. We'll find the first file here. So this is my own voice of 10 seconds. Hello, this is a 10 second recording of Ben Biles, a test recording of 48 killer 16 pit mono WAV for ODUS. Okay, so that was trained in uh, with a 30 second sample of my voice. So um, the yeah, the voice prints based on the 30 second sample, and this is the software detecting me. So voice print detective Ben Biles so that worked let's try a one well, let's try a say a two second this is Ben Biles a short test recording so it's pretty short this one I'll go back and find it in the history uh, let's try to change this okay so it found me again, and then I've got a half second, I think. Yes. Ben Biles. So it's really quick. And let's go back to the history here. Half sec, right, we'll run that. Yep, found me again. Do that a couple of times. You see the speed of it. Okay, next, um, Dave Weems. And up here I've uh, worked as a store clerk, I've drove a truck, and operate heavy equipment. So same again, he was scanned in um, with 30 seconds training. I'm not sure if there's an advantage for longer training than that, longest original files but so yeah there he is that's a 10 second uh, here we've got the dynamically allocated memory size in samples so 37 375,000 odd samples and the memory is cleared after the commands executed um, but I'll probably modify this code to auto scan new files that arrive in the ODAS uh, WAV recorded folder. So let's have a look at someone else. Let's look at Donald Trump. Seven, seven. Also be paid for indirectly by the great new trade deal we have made with Mexico. Yeah, we know what he sounds like. So uh, find Donald Trump in the history here. I think I said seven seconds. So yeah, there he is. And um, let's, what have I got? One second. By the great new. Yeah, so. Somewhere back here, I think I've run in. One second. That's yeah, really quick. And you can see it's using virtually no CPU. I mean, I'm, I'm um, doing a screen grab of this, so screen capture. Uh, the larger hits are on one core, it's not multi-threaded. Um, code's not multi-threaded yet. Um, Donald Trump, four seconds, we've done enough of him. Let's do um, some of these French guys who wrote the original algorithms. Um, Dominic, let's try him. Now these are um, separated audio and post filtered and you supply both these to my command line app. Um, before I was supplying just the same WAV sample, just a normal file, um, but their algorithms actually were in a structure whereby you supply both the ODAS recorded file types. I'm not quite sure if there's a massive advantage to this or not, but I've implemented that in the CA code anyway. So let's preview 
sequence three, Dominic, sequence three, Dominic, post, uh, separate audio. Moi, je suis professionnel de recherche au laboratoire Introlab de l'Université de Sherbrooke. Depuis 2001, je m'intéresse à l'intégration robotique dans son ensemble. So, yeah, not the best um, audio recording there, quite quite a lot of hiss in there and very low level. This is the post filtered. Moi, je suis professionnel de recherche au laboratoire Introlab de l'Université de Sherbrooke. Depuis 2001, je m'intéresse à l'intégration robotique dans son ensemble. Okay, so we'll run that. And there he is, Dominic. Here. Okay. Um, I don't know if we need to do any more demos of this, but let's see if anything else we've got in here. Uh, Francis, Francois, SP and PF. Yeah. Okay. I can send these over if you want to have a play around, or just um, yeah, we could maybe wait for um, until I've figured out the file scan. In Nodas itself. Um, okay, I think that's it for now. Pretty excited. It seems to work pretty, pretty damn well. So, um, yeah, could be pretty useful. Um, all right, I'll shut this down.